Welcome back to Nightly Nonsense. We've been on this kick of what are you devoted to, right? What are you devoted to? Uh, I, I, I want I want to ask you this question, right? Uh, is 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 that what you're devoted to? Is it recognizable to other people? We say we're devoted to God, but would people actually know and say that you're a Christian? If their definition of a Christian wasn't just you go to church on Sunday, right? take that out of the equation. If, if it was more than going to church on Sunday, would you be convicted of being a Christian? If, if it's more than going to a, a Bible study with people that you like, would you be convicted of being a Christian? If, if somebody walked in on the places that you are, Right? The things that they're, you're doing, would they see a difference between what you're doing and what anybody else in the world is doing? We, we just went through Halloween. right? Would, would people know that you're a Christian based on what you do with Halloween? Now, we, that, that's not an all or nothing thing. or nothing. That's, a, that's a you and God thing. Would people, people know? If, if you walked around on Halloween as a disciple carrying a cross... Right? You had full size, you're dragging this cross around with you. What, what, what would people think about that? Would they know you were a Christian? Or were you just doing Christian things? Right? Does, does just dragging around a, a cross at Halloween make you a Christian? No. Nope. You could just be doing Christian things. It could be your character, your costume. I'm, I'm Jesus. I'm a disciple. I'm like that, That's what I'm doing. There, there's a lot of times where we're walking around... And we might be doing Christian things, but does it make us a Christian? That aside, if you're just going about your normal, everyday life, would people convict you of being a Christian? Based on how you celebrated Halloween, would people convict you of being a Christian? How should a Christian, uh, how should a Christian handle uh, Halloween? Well, you got to do your research on it. If you're devoted to being a Christian, then you might want to start studying and think about, why am I celebrating this holiday and this holiday? What do I know about this? Right? If, if Christmas is all about Jesus, why is it all about my family? Why are the things of Jesus put to the side? Do you know that most Christians don't go to church on Christmas, let alone read a devotional on Christmas, let alone read the Bible on Christmas, the Christmas story on Christmas, let alone pray on Christmas, let alone do anything that would be recognizable as Christ-like on Christmas. And, and Christmas, if you woke up and you said, listen, we're not opening any presents until we read the Christmas story, until we pray together as a family, how, how would that go over? How, how, would that, how would that go over with your family? Right? Would there be would there be a problem? And just because you read the Christmas story and pray, does that make you Christ-like? No, there's lots of people who do it as ritual. It's just what we do. We read the Christmas story, we pray, we have ham dinner, and then we open presents. Like that's what we do. Right? Again, how would people convict you, right, in in your walk? with Christianity. That, that's only a you and God thing, and everybody asks that question, right? If you were put on trial for being a Christian, would you be convicted? It's a good question. It's one that I should be asking every day. Today, as I went through my day, right, did I get convicted? Could I be convicted for being a Christian? Did, did God go up in heaven and go like, I recognize you. You look like my son Jesus. Is that what happened throughout the course of a day? Like, so we devote ourselves to things, but do you devote yourself to being Christ-like overall, to being a Christian? If, if you did, and if you are, well, how, how's the day going? What's happened throughout the course of your day? Listen, if you stand up for Christ, you should probably expect some pushback. All right, so I want you to chew on that tonight. I want to talk about the second part of that tomorrow night, right? But are you devoted to the things of Christ? Are you devoted to being an overall Christian? Only you, only you 
can answer that. Everybody else could have a take. Like, yeah, I don't know. If we took out the church thing, they wouldn't be a Christian in my book, right? But are you devoted to being a Christian? Think about that. We'll talk to you next time. Nightly Nonsense. <laughs>